Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a video on um, how I pre-plan for my weeks, both for my memory um, planner and my like everyday planners. And this is kind of impromptu for me because I was actually sitting down to film a rewind spread and I realized I've been wanting to film this video for a while anyway so I might as well film it while I'm sitting down getting everything together and ready. So <clears throat> it's probably going to be a pretty quick video because I don't do too too much to pre-plan. It's a pretty simple process. Um, so my main everyday planner is an Erin Condren uh, which is on the other side of the room so I don't have it in front of me. This is my memory planner. Um, so what I do to pre-plan for my normal weeks spreads, um, my like, what do you call that? Planning in advance? Uh, I'm pre-planning obviously, but there's another thing that it's called. I can't remember. Anyway, um, when I sit down to do those plan with me's, I write down all of my plans on something that I just cannot find. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, I write everything down on this, like, little, like, just desk pad thing that I got at the Target dollar spot uh, a while ago. And it just has uh, the whole week, a little spot for the weekend. And what I'll do is, actually, one second. So I guess technically this is the first step of my pre-planning process is um, my monthly pre-plan. So this is for July. We're in um, August now, but um, so I have this insert, which is from So Much Crafting. It is a B6 um, monthly insert and I get the Monday through Sunday because that's my life. And um, I don't use any stickers in here. Um, I just write things in, like I write in appointments that I made um, that are in the future, um, any events that are coming up. I write in my weigh-ins when I do my groceries, paydays, birthdays, everything like that. Um, this is the first place things are written when I like need to jot something down that's happening on a specific date. So that is step number one in my pre-planning process. So when I go to actually plan out um, a specific week, I will take my monthly insert, I will take this list pad, I will take a pen, and uh, I will just write down all of the things that are here and translate them onto here. But I mean, I write down the dates. So like, say I was planning for the week of the 9th through the 15th of July. I would write 9, 10, 11, 12, up at the top so that I'm not confused. And then I would write down all of the things that are in my monthly onto here. And then I would go through and see if there's anything that's missing, anything that's come up recently, um, anything that's, you know, happening with my son, any calls I need to make. I'll just write down everything that I need to put in my spread right on here and um, I'm pretty sure they have these in the Target dollar spot constantly. This is like a dollar, probably a dollar and I think it came with enough papers for an entire year or over an entire year something like that. It came with plenty. So um, after I write everything in here then obviously I go and I plan in my planner. That's really all of the pre-planning I do for my like plan ahead spreads um, because I, f I don't use too many character stickers and stuff in there. I generally try to use mostly what's in the kit. Um, a because I'm lazy <laughs> and B I just don't like those poor stickers going to waste. Um, I don't, I'm not going to be throwing away my planner that, um, that I use, like my normal, like, plan ahead planner. I'm going to keep it so it's not like I have to, like, I'm not, like, afraid of the fact that I'm going to end up throwing those stickers away later on because I'm not. So I don't know why I don't. I just don't. But I probably should. So that is my plan ahead pre-planning process. Now, 
after the week is over, actually on a daily basis, um, I take my mini horizontal happy planner and let's go to a blank week so you can see just real quick what it looks like. Um, so it just looks like this and then throughout the day or at the end of the day or the morning of the next day, whenever I have a chance or whenever I remember, I will write down all of the things that I did or um, like what I eat for dinner, if I ate out, any like any place I went to, the like the shows or movies that I watched, just whatever happened that day. I'll go ahead and write it down in here. And this is what I use to pull from for my memory planning spreads. So um, the video I was sitting down to film is actually going to be for the week of July 30th through August 5th. And don't mind the smear, that's actually from Dog's Lover. So that's nasty, I know. But my dog is really big and he slobbers a lot, so I can't always control it. Um, so I wrote down everything and I always write in like, if I sleep in, since it doesn't happen very often anymore, I always write that in. Um, I for, for some reason I always write down if I've had coffee, even though I have coffee like basically every single morning. I don't know why, I, I still write it down. I still like to put it in here in case I like have room or something. I don't know. It's, it's a weird thing. I can't stop doing it. So I write everything that happened throughout the day in here. And then when I go to um, plan my week, I'll just flip over through to July, even though I am backed up all the way through like, is it April? I'm in like, I'm barely in April for my, like, I've, I've done one spread in April which is really sad. Um, then I will go to my week. Where is it? It's not even in this actual, what am I doing? It's the end of July. Come on, Kelly, get yourself together. Let's go. Let's figure this thing out. Okay, it's under the August tab, of course. So it's this week right here, July 30th through August 5th. Um, and then, actually there's a one step in my normal pre-planning process that I forgot, which is kind of important because it is um, my kit organization, which I would definitely say counts as part of my pre-planning process because I do pre-plan which kits I'm going to use. Um, I have this binder, which I got from the Target Dollar Spot, and then I have Avery um, like little sleeve things, and at the top um, of each one I have a sticker with the dates of the week um, and I have all of well not all of them but all the kits that I have planned out that I'm going to be using are in here um, so that is technically part of the planning process but for my um, memory planner I don't have the kits that I'm going to use planned for specific weeks. I do ha keep some in mind, like for this particular week I went and saw Christopher Robin, so I'm going to be using a uh, Winnie the Pooh kit that I have from Planning Choco. And it's in here somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. And I just like bought a whole bunch of her kits, so there it is. So this is the one I'll be using for this memory uh, planning spread, uh, but I don't date these because I just kind of like having them in here and then I can just use them whenever. Um, and then once I have my kit picked out, uh, I take, let's see. Now this step depends on what kind of spread I'm doing. I have done a few white space spreads in my memory planner. All of them have been the same style. If I do a memory planning spread in white space style, look here, I'll show you an example of one I've done. Um, then what I'm about to tell you right now is kind of null and void. So this is the white space style I've done in this planner and then most of them are no white space like this. Um, but if it is a no white space spread, meaning I'm going to cover everything with stickers, um, I will take three different colored highlighters. And here, I'll zoom you in a tiny bit. 
I'll take three different colored highlighters, doesn't matter what colors, um, and these are for the three different sections in my planner. So one of them is going to be for the things that I'm going to put in my checklists, one of them is going to be for the things I want to put as little things, and then the third color is going to be what's going to make up the like the center of the columns. So for example, and I always seem to write my things um, in the same areas, like I always write my TV shows over here, I always write my dinners over here, and then like I kind of sort of go in chronolo chronological order, but it doesn't really matter that much to me too much. So I will go ahead and I'll take one highlighter and I'll go through and I usually like to do the things that are gonna be my little things first. This just helps me like visually block everything out so that when I'm going through and putting stickers down I know like I can really quickly look at how many TV shows little things I need for each day um, like how much space I'm gonna need in between my little things and my checklist if this is making any sense I hope so so I'll just go and I will highlight all of my dinners and TV shows <clears throat> which lately it's basically just been like curry and x-files all day every day so there's my little things highlighted so I'm done with that um, the next thing I'll do I always do my little things first and then I always do what's gonna be in my checklist next because I know how many hearts I have on my checklist so I know how many things I can fit in there um, usually the ombre heart checklist in kits will have five hearts sometimes they'll have six but they usually have five um, and the planning chocolate ones have five so I'll go through and depending on how many things are here and what I want to like I'm trying to explain this correctly let me just take a step back here the things that I put in my checklist um, depend on a couple different factors um, if I don't have a cute sticker for it or it's boring I'll put it in the checklist my, the things that go on my checklist aren't necessarily things that need to be checked off because it's stuff that already happened so it doesn't really matter to me <clears throat> excuse me um, it's just basically if I don't ha like if I don't have a cute sticker for it if it's something that was boring if it's something that doesn't like directly pertain to me my husband or my son um unless it's somebody's birthday of course then it'll probably go in the checklist or um if I've got too many things going on in the day and I know I'm not going to have enough room to put them all like in the center I'll throw some things in the checklist so I'm just going to go ahead and take my little green highlighter and I'll go ahead and highlight a few things um that I want to put in the checklist not every day we'll have five items because sometimes I've got plenty of like I'm gonna have plenty of room within the day part um, that I don't need to fill all five checklist spots so let's see um, see I can put coffee YouTube binge karate um, in the checklist and then uh, we went to the zoo and we went to Stingray Beach for the first time so I definitely want to make sure that that is in the day like in the center section um, because that's something that I want to make sure is like highlighted uh, let's see in this one I've got groceries GameStop karate I can put let's see I can put GameStop because I don't really go there for me. Karate, coffee, and then that means I've got three things to put in my daily section too. Um, I usually put, I usually put like cleaning tasks that I did in the checklist section. Um, but again, this is all just like depending on what happened each day, how many things happen each day. So it's a little hard to say like this. It's not like a concrete like set formula that I have. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I do. I'm not going to bore you guys by sitting here and highlighting everything, but that is essentially my process. So then once I'm done highlighting all of my checklist things, I'll take my third one and then um, just for the sake of having everything color blocked off, 
I will go ahead and highlight the things I'm going to put in the center. Once I'm done with this, I will go through and look at all the things that are highlighted in my center color and I will take out my character sticker binder. Just zoom you guys back out. I'll go ahead and take my character sticker binder and I will flip through here and pull out all of the character stickers that I need <clears throat> for that particular spread. And this thing is like real jam-packed. It's real thick. Uh, so it's a little crazy to store, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much my pre-planning process. Um, when I take the sheets out of the sticker binder, I don't like take off each sticker and put it on a separate sheet or anything like that. Although that probably would make my life a little bit easier if I did that. But um, I tend to like switch things up like as I'm in the process of doing it and I wouldn't want to have to like refine those sheets stick the sticker back on man I've been talking so much my throat's starting to hurt oh man <laughs> all right so that is pretty much my pre-planning process um I feel like that probably wasn't super interesting so I apologize uh if you did not find it interesting but I always love watching people's videos like how their thought processes work and like organizing things and how they like set up for things they're gonna do. I don't know I find it so fascinating so um yeah if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up I would really appreciate appreciate it also uh go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already uh hit the little notification bell uh to be notified of when I upload videos which hopefully will start to be much more often than it has been and uh, i will see you guys later bye